Hey guys, it's Urban Ravels Master here, and today we're going to do a video on Sentinel under 10k decks. And here's my deck I have right now. We have Dayton, Finch, Flinch, Finch, yeah, Flinch, John, Kamakura, Toby, Owen, Morgan, and Martha. I like this deck, and it's done me great so far. I've done a couple battles with it. I actually haven't lost yet, and we've done like four battles, but... We're getting higher up there. I think we're at like 1100 now, so I'm expecting to lose a couple in the video. And we'll do four battles and see how it goes. Alright, here we are. And so far we're at 1103. I've done four battles with this deck so far, and it's gone 4 0. But as I said earlier, we're getting higher now, so I'm not expecting to keep it up through the video. But we will see. I should have been recording the other four battles, then I would have looked really good. <laughs> but alright, we're getting some. Montana here, which is always a problem. They're always good. This new guy, Moses, he is amazing. He is, I don't know why they gave it to, gave a card like that to the, um, uh, Montana. They already have a lot of good three stars, but he adds another one. He, he that high damage. Support minus one opponent life, minimum one. So really, Moses is going to hit six on me if he hits, so I can't let that happen. Um, we're going to use Martha, I guess, with six pills. That should give me the win. If I lose this, I'll be screwed up for the fight. And I did. I've lost this fight. This fight's over. I don't see how I could come back from that, to be honest. Shoot. Um, let's just pull out a date in here. Hopefully he'll use Spang High. Dayton usually brings out the DRs. I've noticed that in the past. Typically, I don't know why, but something about him, they're just like, damage reduce. I think it's kind of his ability. His ability that says damage plus three. People see that and are like, minus three opponent damage. Oh, let's just stop his ability. So then that makes him useless. It kind of does, but two damage still isn't terrible, so I'll take it. Yeah, hopefully he didn't use two pills. That'd be gay. Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. I still don't see how we're going to win, but that did help, I guess. Not really. I can beat him, but I kind of think he's going to use two pills and save up for her. Oh, wait. If he hits four here, I can still tie it with Kamukar, so why would I pill? I can just... Oh, he won't fury. There'd be no point. Perfect. We're gonna win. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Tobby. Tobby is so important. He's key. Getting people to four power. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Yes. I'll take it. Might have been able to fury there. I just didn't want to do the math. I'm too lazy. Well, now we can. Six times eight. Six times six is 36. We would have had eight times five is 40 minus four. Yeah, we could have furied and won with a KO, but whatever. KO or win. Doesn't matter to me. Yay, so we got kind of lucky there. Kind of skillful with using Tobby. Tobby can really screw up Montana's. But yeah, that was a good fight. I enjoyed that one thoroughly so there's win number one so far we're five and oh with them but in the video we're one and oh i'll just count the video but we're getting higher at 1118 now so as you get higher the people get better we'll see who we get we got a level 70 another montana really come on now and this guy's got better cards than the last guy had but i drew owen so i have i do have some hope if he uses Ed CR like he did, I think he, I don't think he's gonna go in. I think that'll be a straight up four pills maybe. If he uses four pills, I can use six. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, all right, all right. That's okay. We'll take that. Um. So he's already at five. I have John. He's got 
He's got some damage with him, not a lot of damage. If I use him in Fury, I might just win it. So we're just going to do that anyway. Because I, I think it's unexpected. You always want to keep him not thinking what you're thinking. And even if I lose, even if I win and he uses Jimmy, I'll still do three damage and he'll be at two. And paired with Morgan, I should still win. I'm not sure. I'm too lazy to do the math. Also, it'll be a tie, maybe. I don't know. I think that if I win this one round, I will win the fight either way. I'm just trying to be unexpected here. Jimmy, all right, all right. Let's see. Come on. Okay, okay. I don't know what happens now. I think, um, so he has five into four. So it'll be seven and six, which is 13. Minus two is 11. So I will win by one life. Ha ha ha. Yeah, Sentinel. Sentinel under 10k doing straight work. Six and O. Oh. Dang. Dominant, dominant. This is fun. I enjoy this. I enjoy this thoroughly. Why am I keep saying thoroughly? That's a terrible word. I can barely even say it. Whatever. Well, we're winning. We're winning. So we're six and O oh so far. Two and O oh in the video against two Montanas, and I usually don't beat Montana people. I guess. Yeah, Ed C R is actually really predictable. Typically, people won't pill him at all. So. If you use six, then you can usually win. Because even when I have Ed CR, the most I use with him is four. And usually people will just hit a date DR with him. So, But if I had used Morgan there, I would have lost this fight. So that's just strategic. If someone uses Ed CR, I recommend you hitting them. Hitting with a high damage person with about six pills. That'll usually get you the win. That CR is very predictable and not as scary as people think a lot. He can be beaten. Alright, so now we're at 1133. 2 0 in the video. And we got some piranhas. Ooh, we got some good piranhas. Um, a lot of high power here. He's got Selma. So you always gotta worry about pill manipulation. I hate pill manipulation. If he uses Selma, he, I think he's going to use like 9 and get to 63. And then just screw me up big time. But I really don't want to risk it and pill Owen with 9 pills. Alright, so he uses Tide. Maybe 6 pills with Owen. Hopefully he'll use 4. That's kind of what I'm thinking. 3, alright, I'll take that. I wonder if I can do the same thing I did last time and just hit with like John or Martha here. Yeah, I could hit with Martha. I think I should do that. I think I should. Just for unpredicted thinking. Just because I think that he's going to use Selma here and probably keep enough to hit with Wraith and just really screw me over. I don't think he'll be thinking the KO yet. I actually might have used Dayton and just gone all in. Because I don't think he would have thought KO with Dayton. But I don't know. I don't know. I think Dayton would have been a better choice, to be honest. We'll see. And I'm like 90% sure he's going to use Selma to gain some pills back to hit me later. But there might not be a later. Maybe. Hopefully not. Yeah, if you haven't, if you can't tell, that's how kind of how I play. When I get Owen in there, I'll usually hit him in the first round, not using too many pills, but using a good amount. And then I'll try to shock them in the second round with a KO or something like that, just because most people don't expect it. Every now and then you'll get someone who will, but three out of four times you'll end up winning, and losing one fourth of your battles isn't bad, not bad at all. He's thinking a while. He might have seen it. Maybe. 
Ah, yes. Ha ha ha. He didn't notice. That works for me. Yay, 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 yay. I love that. I love that. He was saving to be able to stop Dayton. That's what he was doing. So we're three and zero in the in the video. Four, seven and zero so far with this deck. It's been my best under ten k deck so far. I'll definitely admit that. All right, so we got someone with better Sentinels than me. We have the same cards here and here. Two flinches and two tobbies. Then instead of Morgan and Dayton, they have Havoc and Jackson, which is a lot better than Morgan and Dayton. Havoc's just gonna rape me here. They're I can't do anything to Havoc, really. I gotta let him win, probably. Maybe hit him with Morgan. Just just make the 7-5. It'd be nice to get Tobby and Jackson together. That'd be okay with me. Um, Tobby. I, I actually need to hit with Flinch, so let's use 5. Please don't five pill Tobby. Please. Yes. All right. See, most people will four pill. That's another thing I've noticed. Four pilling is very common, but typically you won't go to five or six. Usually it's four to seven. Not really in between. So I usually go with five and six typically. There are my two. That's just a strategy thing of mine. Um. I don't. I'm not sure what to do here, to be honest. I think he's just going to use Havoc and just screw me up. As long as I keep Tobby, I can handle Jackson. Maybe I'll use Dayton? Maybe? Let's say I use Dayton and Fury. I'll do 7, which will put him at 2. But if he had Havoc and Flinch, he would have 7 plus 7 and be able to screw me up. But if he, had, if he used Havoc then I'd be good. I can't risk that. That's too low. Uh, maybe use Dayton with five? I don't know. One pill Dayton. I don't know what to do here. This guy's hand is a lot better than mine. But I did hit five just now, so there is hope. The only thing that could really screw me up here is a one pill with Havoc or a two pill with Jackson. A two pill with Jackson actually wouldn't really screw me up too much, I don't think. I don't think. I'm hoping for Havoc with like maybe four pills. That would work. Come on, I need this one. Don't ruin my streak. I'm doing so well. 3-0 and in the video. And 7-0 and overall with this deck. Cheap decks. Whoever said cheap decks aren't good is a liar. You can be very effective. Because a lot of the times people will think you suck. <laughs> which is which is good. I like people who think you suck. You can surprise them. Now this guy might surprise us and kill us. But, you know. Still. Havoc and Jackson combined are more than the price of that our deck. Ooh, flinch. I did not expect flinch. Alright. He's still got Havoc. I've still got Tobby. Uh, let me think. If I use... 4 times 9 is 36. 6 times 6 is 36. So Morgan can beat Havoc. Alright. That's important. If he uses Jackson, I'm going to just have to one pill. If he uses Havoc, however, I can use three. I kind of think he's going to Fury here. Six times three is 18. Four times four. Ah. I really think he's going to Fury. I have to risk it. Come on, please. Yeah, he did Fury. Ha ha ha. Yes, we win this one too. 8 and 0. 4 and 0 in the video. I'm loving this deck. Loving it. Best cheap deck I've used.
that guy definitely had better cards than us, but if you outsmart him, you can beat anyone. It's the way this game is. It's strategy. Alright guys, this deck I'm going to rate... I'm honestly going to give it, for an under 10k deck standard, a 10 out of 10. I think this is one of the best under 10k decks you can get, if not the best under 10k deck you can get. It's got improvements there, like Havoc, as you see, as you saw. Havoc would be an improvement that you could purchase after a while. We're at 1166. We have not lost with this deck in 8 fights. I recommend it to anyone who is cheap, a beginner. It's under 10k. I think it's coming in at like 9,500 or something like that. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, check out my other videos. Again, 10 out of 10 for this deck.